Manchester United axed Ole Gunnar Solskjaer last month with Ralf Rangnick now in charge at Old Trafford. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer's sacking at Manchester United sparked an emotional reaction from inside the club, according to reports. The Norwegian lost his job last month after his team had won just one of their previous seven Premier League matches. And Ralf Rangnick is now in charge at Old Trafford. Solskjaer was confident he could steer United to Premier League glory after being backed in the summer transfer window. Jadon Sancho, Rafael Varane and Cristiano Ronaldo all moved to Old Trafford, with the trio seen as substantial signings at the time however. Solskjaer was unable to get the best from his new recruits with United going backwards under him after heavy defeats to the likes of Watford, Manchester City and Liverpool he was relieved of his duties last month, with Rangnick installed as his successor the Athletic say that there were emotional scenes as the Norwegian departed, with staff talking to the 48-year-old. Solskjaer supposedly told them that's football when asked about his sacking, with the Norwegian facing up to the problems during his tenure. The former United boss has remained in England since his departure, though he could jet off to Norway for Christmas he's said to still be living in Cheshire and, when recently bumping into United fans upon picking up a takeaway, insisted he tried his best certainly. He can reflect positively on his time at the club Solskjaer arrived in December, 2018 after the sacking of Jose Mourinho, who broke the dressing room with his cold manner. The United legend was popular immediately, with players respecting his status as a club legend after steadying the ship and helping the Red Devils build momentum. Solskjaer was given the job permanently in March 2019 it seemed the right decision at the time, with Edward Wood choosing to stick the Norwegian instead of going after Mauricio Pochettino however, while United did well to finish second and third respectively under Solskjaer, they never got close to winning the Premier League title.